we don't have to wait for good things to happen if the circumstances were not aligned for good things to happen you arrive and make good things happen it's a law of life become an example don't be demotivated how long you will be running do you pray when things get tough before you take a decision invite all of you to please rise up on your feet this is a time for prayer and also please invite your loved ones to join us and participate with us in the service share the links with them and tell them to join us and wherever you're watching us from please close your eyes lift up your holy hands let's begin by giving thanks to god for this beautiful week that we've had makata litri akapa ka city of coco coco ka city of coco thank you for all of the miracles all of the testimonies that we were witness to makata city akata all the souls that were saved in this week makata litri akata city of coco city of coco thank you for your own salvation and the gift of the holy spirit and for the gift of righteousness makata litri akapa ka city of coco coco ka city ya ka city o koro ko pa ka city ya ka city o ko city o ko ji ya ka pa ka city ya ka city ya ka city o ko so ko pa ka city ya ka city o koro ko pa ka city ya ka pa ka city o ko so ko pa ka city o ko city o ko ji ya ka city ya ka city o ko city o ko city o ko ji thank you the lord god praise you heavenly father thank you the lord jesus now we are going to be praying and thanking god for all those who will be participating in the healing streams live healing service next week jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 says behold i will bring it health and cure and i will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth praise god we are going to be thanking god now for those who will participate and the healing streams life healing service with pastor chris declare that your faith will be activated allowing them to embrace divine health for their bodies and pray that any distraction that may hinder their miracles are removed and that their hearts remain steadfastly fixed on the word of god as it is conveyed through every ministration during the healing services declare that everyone is experiencing a divine encounter with the healing power of God and receiving a special touch from the master ushering in a remarkable miracle praise god let's pray makata siti akapa kat siti akapa kat si ti akapa kat siti akasi ti onkoro ko pakat siti akapa kat si nyanya akapa kat siti akapa kat siti akapa kat siti onko siti onko tu ti akapa kat siti akapa kat siti akara akapa kat ti ti akata nya kat siti onko tu thank god for all those that you invite makata city akata each and every single one of them are coming are coming with expectations participating in this program makata city akata city of hope hope akata city akata city akata streams of healing streams of healing flowing to each and every single home each and every single healing center in the name of jesus each and every single center each and every single nation in the name of jesus makata city akapa kat city akata city of hope hope akata city akata city of hope hope akata city Ya kapa kat siti ya ka siti o ko si ko pa kat siti ya ka siti o ko so ko pa kat si Ya kapa kat siti ya ka siti o ko so ko pa kat siti ya ka siti o ko so ko pa kat si Ya ya kapa kat siti ya kapa kat siti ya ka siti o ko so ko pa kat si Ya ya kapa kat siti ya kapa kat siti o ko so ko pa kat si Ya ya kapa kat siti ya kapa kat siti o ko so ko pa kat si Ya ya kapa kat siti ya kapa kat siti o ko so ko pa kat si declare that each and every single person coming and uh, participating for this program every single one of us and experiencing a divine encounter for the healing power of god receiving a special touch from the master ushering in a remarkable miracle in their lives by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus makata litri akapa kat siti akat siti akoto every one of them embracing divine health of their bodies all distractions removed in the name of jesus the spirit of distraction doubt suspicion removed from the name of jesus makata siti akat siti akoro kopa kat siti akat siti akoso kopa kat siti nyanya kopa kat siti akapa kat siti akoso kopa kat siti 
Tia Kapa Katsi, Tia Kapa Katsi, Tia Kosu Kopa Katsi, Nanya Kapa Katsi, Tia Kasi, Tia Koro Kopa Katsi, Tia Kapa Katsi, Tia Kasi, Tia Koko Kopa Katsi, Tia Kosi, Tia Koto. Thank you, the Heavenly Father, for all of the miracles. Yes, every single person, dear Lord God, participating in this program, their hearts remain steadfastly fixed on your word as it is conveyed to every single ministration during this three days program, dear Lord God. During the praise and worship, when the testimonies are given, when they hear the testimonies of all those who were previously healed, dear Lord God, when they hear the word of God from a man of God, Pastor Chris, through each and every single ministration, their hearts, their eyes, yes, every fiber of their being remains steadfast and fixed on your word, dear Lord God. Thank you, dear Lord God, for the healings. Thank you for the salvation of souls, the influx of souls that your Lord God into your kingdom in this three days program. Thank you to Heavenly Father. And we pray this in Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for praying with us. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your faithfulness which is from generation to generation. How consistent you are. You would never failed in any generation. Yes. Thank you Father for giving us the grace not only to know you but to serve you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. You are great and mighty. There is none like you. Yes, O oh Lord. What a God you are. And only you are God. Thank you. From everlasting to everlasting. Is a dominion. Thank you for the presence of the Spirit of God in our lives. Thank you for your written word. Thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes of understanding. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father of glory, Father of lights, righteous Father. Yes, yes, you are gracious, you are kind. Thank you, Father. We say our hearts and minds are open to hear and receive from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you this beautiful Sunday service. Praise the Lord. I believe um, we know what we are talking about. We are talking about uh, gospel, the need of every generation. Praise the Lord. You know, someone once asked to me, he said, Pastor, how do you decide what to preach? How do you know what to practice? How do you know what to teach? <laughs> How do you decide what should be your priority in life? Because <clears throat> there is so, so much to know, there is so much to do. There is so much to preach. There is so much to teach. Bible is the word of God. Praise the Lord. We should say Bible is the testimony of God. Now it contains word of God and it contains many other dialogues of other people. But Bible is the testimony of God that these people spoke what they spoke. So understand what Bible is. So there is so much to know. There is so much to preach. There is so much to teach. There is so much to practice. So how do I know what to do? Praise the Lord. Because efforts, right efforts at the right time produces result. Right effort at wrong time might not produce result at all. Praise the Lord. So... Timing is very important. We all understand. Like when you were writing your exam, I'm very sure this would have happened to you. You wanted to know what to read. 
There was whole book to read. Am I right? What was the first question? If you have a one-day gap, what was the question? What is about to come? You wanted to guess. You know, your teacher told you something. You went through the question papers of the previous years, and you were trying to guess because in one day, how much can you read? How much you can even revise? And that's so important because that's who we are. We want to know the future, and we want to prepare ourselves according to the future. But at some places, people use that ability, but some other places they don't use that ability or desire. I should say we all have that desire to know future and to prepare us for future. Like when a child is born in the family. you want to know what he should be a doctor or engineer or footballer or cricketer and you want him to give him or her that kind of training praise the lord so there is something called timing of this spirit if you know the message when john the baptist came he said his message was repent kingdom of god is at hand When Lord Jesus came, His message was divine life. Let's read John ten verse ten. It says, "The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill." And this is, I can, I wish I had time. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to. This is very remarkable about the devil, because now they are trying to make devil look good. They say the devil is very good. He wants to give you something. He does not. He wants to save you. <laughs> But we know the nature of the devil from the testimony of God. Praise the Lord. Am I right? I told you, Bible is what testimony of God. Apostle said what they said. Job said what he said. Many people spoke what they said. Even what donkey said, God wrote it there. Praise the Lord. So this is the testimony of God, and this is Lord Jesus talking. So this becomes more wonderful. He said, "The thief cometh not, but for to steal." So when they want to deceive the world, you should not be deceived. But they are trying to say, "Devil, devil is the giver of good things." Now I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you're watching your love word, it should be easy to understand. So the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life. and they might have it more abundantly praise the lord that was the message of lord jesus christ can we see it from ampc i want to show you one more thing there this is the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy can you see this so can you see the order stealing killing and destruction i came that they may have an enjoy life so enjoyment of life is from god Many people say, "Oh, with God, life is boring." I said, "Who told you so?" God said in His Word, "I came that they may have and enjoy." That is the message of Lord Jesus Christ. If you have anything which promised to give you enjoyment and that is not from God, be alert. It might look like enjoyment; it might not be enjoyment. It's like you know, plastic rice. Have you heard of plastic rice? It looks like rice, but it is not rice. even if you eat it you might not even know the difference but it's a plastic rice i hope you know what i'm talking it's so beautifully deceived so i came that they may have and enjoy life so enjoyment of life is from god praise the lord god gave you eyes to look at beautiful things isn't it if i give you entry into a room one part is messy one part is good your eyes will automatically go to the good side if two people are singing one is singing like a donkey one is singing like a good opera singer your ear will like to hear that kind of voice that's how we are trained we are trained for good life praise the lord so never think god has any problem by the end of the day god lives in heaven man and when he told moses david solomon to build him a house look at how magnificent it was so god is no has no problem with prosperity even he is the creator of prosperity praise the lord i told you whatever man is selling to get money is god who created it did they make their gold did they make did they make oil no praise the lord they just digged it out of the 
cave or some place you know and now they are selling it to the world and they are saying they are rich praise the lord you are not rich you are just wicked you are you are taking what belongs to all of us and making it your own i hope i'm communicating is actually belongs to all of us so a thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy i came that they may have and enjoy life so who is the originator of life god and this is the same thing we see in first john chapter 5 verse 12 first epistle of saint john chapter 5 verse 12 is he that believeth okay let's go to 11 then okay 10 He that believeth on the Son of God had the witness in himself. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, I don't believe in God. Unless you don't believe in Son of God, you will not have the witness either. Praise the Lord. This witness comes after believing. Can you see this? That's why when they say, oh, this people, this religion has been changed, they could not prove it till today. Because anybody who truly believes in the Son of God <laughs> cannot say my religion was changed. He will have that true witness. Praise the Lord. I hope I'm communicating. so he that believeth on the son of god has the witness in himself he that believeth not god had made him a liar because he believeth not the record that god gave of his son praise the lord say lord jesus is the son of god is so important it is so because you are believing the testimony of god hallelujah next verse and this is the record that god has given to us eternal life praise the lord and this life is in his son hallelujah think of it what god has given to us you know many many times what has been given to us is so big that we we should not even have time to think upon what looks like missing which is actually not missing but people have trained their mind to think at what is missing in spite of focusing on what is being given god gave us whatever we need in the morning one cell leader gave the testimony how she prayed for somebody over the phone in in uh, gorakhpur somewhere yeah she is in mumbai her cell is in gorakhpur she prayed for the person in gorakhpur and the person got healed i say this is huge i said look at us we can pray for somebody Praise the Lord! Just over the phone, we are not even seeing video call. We don't want to know the symptoms. You know, okay? Can I see the face of the patient? Blah 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 blah. <laughs> we just pray. How magnificent we are! Praise the Lord! How great we are! Praise the Lord! So look at those things. Because sometimes we are just running after what looks like missing. I said, but are you enjoying what has been given? Why can't we talk about good things all the time? Why we have to talk about negative things? Praise the Lord! No, remember your mind can be controlled. Your mind can be controlled. Don't say, "Oh, pastor, you know, my mind goes here and there." I say because you never trained your mind. It's like you know when a child is born, they have to wrap him in the cloth because if they you don't wrap him in the cloth, child will be like this after some years. That's how some people mind are always like this. They can always think. They can't think straight. They always a uh, good thing. Why it is not happening with me? Why can't you think straight? Why your mind is always like this? Some people have that kind of mind. Ha ha! Because when there was a time to tie their mind and allow control the mind to think straight, they were thinking, and all the time they are like this. I hope you understand what I am saying. They see two people happily. Why they are happy? I am not happy. somebody is, has a big house you have a small house why they must be cheating why my mind is like that praise the lord hallelujah some people suffer by themselves <laughs> i made a wonderful statement some people suffer by themselves they don't need third person they themselves can inflict pain they can sit in a corner and keep inflicting i'm so bad nobody loves me no do 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 everybody is praying politician do 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 i'm stupid do they are just inflicting they're just inflicting it's a curse praise the lord that's not what we have praise the lord say i have eternal life say i have eternal life i have eternal life 
So I hope you should enjoy it, isn't it? So don't don't be you know. This is eternal life, man. Life of God, and I should be looking for what I don't have. Have I enjoyed it enough? Can you enjoy this scripture? If you go with this scripture ten hours a day, it will look like next day you should be twelve hours a day, and next day you will think I am not going to any place. I am just enjoying it, and money, everything will be just rushing to you. I know what I am talking. If you start enjoying these things, whatever seems missing will start come flying to you. Praise the Lord. We start coming flying to you. If you enjoy what God has given, but many don't enjoy. Oh Father, you have given eternal life, but we don't have food, we don't have house. God said, "He enjoy this eternal life." People who are living in palaces don't have this eternal life. People who are making medicine does not have this eternal life. Doctor don't have eternal life. You are crying. You do, you just only have eternal life. That's your attitude. But that's what people have. They are because they think money is the biggest blessing, and what they can buy from money. When they don't have money, they can't think straight. They become so paralyzed in their thinking. Just take money out of them; they can't think. For me, when money comes, I don't think. Ah, what what money has to do with my thinking? What money has to do? Money is just an amplifier. Praise the Lord. Am I right? Hello, what is money? Money cannot give me right thoughts. Money can only amplify my thoughts. What microphone has to do with my voice? My voice. My voice is my voice. What microphone has to do? So, what money has to do with my happiness, my satisfaction? Nothing. Yes, when money, I have money, I can amplify. Praise the Lord. So, I must have money. That's okay. So I just want to amplify myself. Not that I'm nothing. Praise the Lord. Are you getting my point? I, did you did you get the point? Many people say without money they are nothing. He says, okay. Who told you without money you are nothing? Who told you? Money can only amplify you, but that does not mean you are zero. Praise the Lord. Ha ha. Say I'm somebody. I'm rich. I have eternal life. So let money have its own place. Let money not replace you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I hope I am communicating. So, what God has given to us? See, I have eternal life. I have eternal life. So, what was the message of John the Baptist? Repent. What was the message of Lord Jesus? Divine. Life. Still today, that's the message. And then, what we have to do? Matthew twenty four fourteen. Remember the question: What I should be about? What should I be doing? Matthew twenty four verse fourteen. He said, "This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nation, and then shall the end come." This you should be about. You should be about preaching the gospel, making disciples of nation. If in your life you never discipled a person, oh boy, how much you are missing in life. You can't disciple anything now. You can't disciple your body because you don't know what does it make to discipline something. Many people, I have seen this. Anybody who is not a leader will always be falling sick. Their money will be like this. Everything about their life will be swinging. Why? Because they have they don't know how to disciple things. They have nobody they can point that this is the person I raised, and they can tell the whole world proudly that the person must be very good. They haven't. They haven't learned the art of discipling things. So money comes to them cannot be their disciple because they don't. They don't think leadership is important. Praise the Lord. Look at their life. Their life will be shattered. After fifty years, they have nothing to show. Why? Because they did not know this. What God has asked, He said, "This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world." Who will preach it? You and I. And what is the preaching? Preaching is not only preaching; preaching is about discipling. So, if you are not concerned, I'm concerned. You know, I, I every week I keep making plans so that I can raise more and more people. That's my greatness. If I can't raise anybody else, I'm not amplifying. Or perhaps I'm saying I'm not worth amplifying. Praise the Lord. 
hello are you with me if you believe in you you will raise somebody i know what i'm talking only people who don't believe in them don't raise anybody like you know child is born mummy is saying be like daddy yes is okay is good to say be like daddy but why can't the son be like mother as well or the daughter can be because when you are not good you don't want people to replicate you but when you are good you want people to replicate you that's what leadership is if you believe in you you will be a leader i know what i'm saying you will be raising others how will you not like to train somebody with the knowledge you have acquired praise the lord look at it don't we have thousands of leaders because i what i know i think people have to know this is for one thing i do what anything i do i start raising people around me to do the same thing because i believe what i know people have to know it will be for their benefit that's what leadership is praise the lord so this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come and we are at the end time praise the lord remember the question this is the end time going rapture is nearby we have to intensify our efforts everyone has to take their responsibility responsibility is never given responsibility is always taken so don't think nobody gave me the responsibility that's why i didn't do he said then you don't give me meaning of word responsibility responsibility is never given responsibility is always taken praise the lord okay, what is responsibility ability to respond praise the lord that's that's in simple words so you have to respond praise the lord hallelujah so this gospel say this gospel so we said this gospel talks about eternal life this gospel talks about righteousness of god thank god for these things otherwise we wouldn't have known the truth we would have always been here and there praise all of we wouldn't have known we would have thought oh people misjudge me people misjudge me what if people misjudged you does it make a difference if you look at the people people are in this world oh this person does not is okay they did not understand jesus christ did it make any difference to him do people understand god till today does it make a difference to god so when somebody did not understand you it's okay and somebody somebody misunderstood is okay right just just be the righteousness of god keep doing what god has asked you to do praise the lord hallelujah so many people are just sorrowful nobody understand me nobody everybody misunderstand nobody loves me is okay there was a time everybody hated jesus am i right the whole world hated jesus what happened to him even god has to turn his face from him he became sin god was not looking at jesus look at it did he did he leave what he was doing god who sent him tell your neighbor god sent jesus and turned his face from him <laughs> think of it i send you somewhere and i say you no longer belong to me i issue a notice what will happen to you that's the same thing happened to lord jesus god sent him and god said i don't know him now god turned his face that was the thing jesus was not willing to that was the highest price how many times people have become that strong now we have to follow the example of jesus that's his character that was the strength of his character he knew what to do praise the lord so you have to know what to do. you can't be oh cc's oh, one day good two days you know mind is not functioning you are under stress you are under distress oh you are crying you are in self pity what kind of life because you never discipled anybody you don't know what does it mean to disciple people you never serious about the preaching of the gospel it was never your aim in life praise the lord hallelujah so say that should be my message are you are you getting what should be your message 
telling them about Lord Jesus Christ because the time is near. Tell your neighbor, time is near. Time is near. Time is near. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your holy hand and thank him for his love, for his mercy. Rishantele, Rankra Kadiri, Tantre, Lidra, Ladere, Ransi, Trala, Braga, Zale, Shanti, Ranta, Lit, Rantre, Le, Zali, Tatura, Rankra Kadiri, Laro, Shatele, Entalita, Lenta, Lit, Tiri, Tatira, Labrababa. Mante lari tatira la baba banda le tatiri tatira Mantali tatiri tatiri tatira Rade le kedira la banda le tatore diri Ranti radore gadira la brabante radora di Rasha tele enkra bradele Thank God is not by power, is not by mind Is by the spirit reza li shatala Montali tatira la brabanda le shatiri ilara la bade Mantale tatere tatiri tatira laga bram batiri tatiri Rantre le zalo shatele inkrakande 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 rago zali shatila Rantali radole tanti tanto turi taro sati laro tatira li tatira Rinta lari tato ladi tatira li tatira la badere tatura kapakase Hallelujah in Jesus' name, Amen. Меня зовут Ирина, мне 52 года. My name is Elena Kenseko. I'm 52 years old. I'm from Kyrgyzstan. It all started on the 23rd of March 2023. I work as a cab driver. And while I was driving to work that fateful day on the 21st of March 2023, I had a strong collision on the right side of my car. My son and a passenger was in the car during the accident. After the collision, I was in a stupor about an hour. Then I was rushed to the hospital for proper care and treatment. They did a tomograph. They took blood and urine tests and I was diagnosed with a brain concussion. I was given several medications, which I had to take on a daily basis, but it never worked. As a result of the condition, I couldn't go out. I had to stop working, I could not drive, especially as a cab woman, because I constantly felt dizzy. I was constantly weak in my body, I couldn't carry out my day-to-day -day activity. I had a very bad reaction to lights, and so I stopped my work as a cab driver completely. Life was really difficult for me. And it was in this state a friend of mine in Mongolia introduced me to the July edition of the Healing Streams Life Healing Services. During the Healing Stream, when the man of God, Pastor Chris, was praying for the sick, I felt the power of God go through my body and instantly all the dizziness and the weakness left my body and I was healed instantly. As the day went by, I started getting stronger and stronger. And now I can do my house chores, no more pain or weakness in my body. I no longer have any bad reaction to light. I resume my cab business and now I can drive. I'm able to do everything and the most important is that strength has come. Everywhere I am or wherever I go, I tell people about Jesus Christ. I share my healing testimony with others. I'm now distributing the healing to the Nations magazine all around the country of Kyrgyzstan. I received my healing during the healing streams and I want others to come and participate in the October edition of the healing stream with Pastor Chris and receive the healing. I invite everyone. Thank you Pastor Chris for bringing healing to Kyrgyzstan. I love you. If you're watching us for the first time and you're yet to give your life to Christ, just say this prayer after me because Jesus is the embodiment of all wisdom. Praise the Lord. So once you have Jesus, will also have wisdom. So say these words after me. Mean it from your heart. Say, Dear Lord God, I believe in Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe He died on the cross to save my soul and you raised Him from dead on the third day and is alive forevermore. Today I confess the Lordship of Jesus Christ over my life. And I say that Lord Jesus is my Lord and my Savior from this day forward. I'm born again. 
I'm a child of God and I'm safe. And I'm wise. I have the life of God in my spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you just did that prayer details on the screen, please do let us know. That's wisdom again. You know, these are the acts of wisdom. And uh, you cannot take them for granted. Because wisdom of God will always take you to the right direction. That's how you know where wisdom is taking you. Wisdom of God will tell you what God wants you to do. Again, because it is the wisdom of God. Wisdom of God cannot take you away from God. That's how you know who is guiding you. There are several ways you can know who is who is guiding you. Praise the Lord. So, please let us know that you just gave your life to Christ so that we can pray for you, guide you, nurture you till you become a beautiful, ardent follower of Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for them who have just given life to Christ. I bless them with the wisdom with your grace and name the name of Jesus upon them forever and devil has no claim over their life whatsoever in the name of Jesus yes father I bless them with your love with grace with your wisdom and with your spirit be blessed in Jesus name amen praise God this is the time to give our tithes our offerings our partnership and remember direction when God says give tithe is the direction for our increased finances and God says give offering is the direction for increased finances, for prosperity. So see them as direction. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this opportunity to bring our tithes, our offerings, our first fruit, our partnership. Thank you, Lord, for this direction. Thank you for the honor and the grace to give it to you, Lord. As we have given, we receive the multiplied harvest of it in the name of Jesus. We invoke the power of multiplication upon this offering for the furtherance of the gospel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's stand on our feet. Thank God for His mercies, for His grace. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, Amen. Surely whose goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, like, comment and share. Thank you and God bless you.